So the very first time that I met Christine, <clears throat> I was already 37 weeks along, getting really close to giving birth for the very first time, and she came to my house, which I thought was amazing, um, being that far along, that big, and in the summer. If I didn't have to go out, <laughs> I usually did it. Um, and I was really excited to maybe get a feel for what it might be like to have a medical appointment in my house where I just chill all the time, where I'm most comfortable. And when she got here, <laughs> I was so surprised to see this petite little cute woman um because she has the voice of like this strong maternal makes everything okay auntie on the phone um so when I saw her and she has a small frame and this huge smile when I answered the door um she was just so warm right from the start and most of our first visit consisted of just talking. I mean, we had a lot to catch up on. I was about to be full term in about three weeks, and the other midwives that I had been seeing had gotten a chance to get to know me and my body, my pregnancy, get to know my son as much as you can before he enters the world. And she had three visits to catch up on all of that. Um, so she met with my husband and I, and she asked us how we met, where were we from, um, asked me my preferences for my birth plan up to that point, how far along I had gotten with that, um, any changes that I might want to make now that I was going to be delivering at home, um, and then gave me an overview of what the next couple of weeks were going to look like until I hadn't arrived. And I just remember feeling nervous that upon meeting her, I wasn't going to feel any relief from the anxiety I had been feeling about switching caregivers because throughout my entire pregnancy, I just really wanted to feel comfortable with whoever was going to be delivering Haddon. My friends, who were already mothers, had just been really candid with me about how important that can be during labor, being able to feel relaxed and at peace with everything, who's in the room, um, whether or not I'm getting any sort of pain relievers, if I'm in water or not, how the lighting is in the room, and who is going to be both catching my baby and looking after me in the meantime. Um, so I was very nervous that I wasn't going to feel 100% peace. Like even 80% didn't seem like enough um, for such a huge undertaking and my very first time. But shortly after she started talking and I heard that voice and I saw that smile and she made herself at home on my couch. Um, I, I knew I was going to relax quickly um, in the upcoming weeks. And she made herself available to me immediately um, through text. I could contact her at any time, and I did often, uh, again, because I was so far along. You know, every day I thought I saw a new sign that he might be coming right now. Um, and so she would explain to me what it is that's going on based on whatever I told her was happening. And, you know, she'd tell me like, yeah, that's called this. And that just means your body's getting ready for the baby. Um, put my mind at ease every step of the way. And my husband, while this was his very first child, and he and I had both heard 
the same horror stories from people about their experience with birth. He was nervous um, about the idea of having a home birth just because it's really easy for people to point out what could go wrong. Um, and in our circles, at least, um, there's just a lot of fear with what could go wrong and not being super close to medical assistance or, uh, you know, big machines and uh, things that could cut you open real quick if you needed to be. But um, he really gave that decision to me. Whatever was going to make me most comfortable is what he was going to feel comfortable with. Um, and he confessed to me after Christine left um, our very first meeting that um, he was still nervous before she came, but after sitting down and talking to her, he was like, I think we're in really good hands. I think we can do this. It's going to be fine. You know, I think we got the team. Like, we can make this happen for our very first child. Um, and so we just got really excited and um, we're really thankful to have Christine as a part of our birth team. Um, she just does a really good job of making you feel like family and who's going to take care of you better than your own family, the people who have been looking after you your entire life anyway. Um, she freely gives hugs and kisses and tells you that she loves you and she's here to support you, whispers all these like uh, soothing things and encouragement and wisdom in your ear. She's saying goodbye and those are the exact things that I needed at the time with all of my nerves and um, the fact that I was about to go about this in a way that no one in my family had for generations. So I didn't have as much to lean on as I usually would with things in my life. This time, I was literally about to go something alone um, until Christine came along. And then I wasn't alone anymore.